Um, welcome back to our town from Duke Zebert's. Uh, Kim, as, as I was saying, you, these two guys, somewhat a legendary in my mind, and I'm sure this is your first exposure to town, but, but he runs a club that caters to people who are looking for mates, and he's been to 26 marriages. 26 marriages on the love boat. This, uh, we celebrate our second anniversary, and I'm amazed. Uh, I've never seen it like this, and I've never seen so many attractive women in over 30 say in our age group is 34 basically to 54 I have never seen so many attractive women who are coming out Kim and Michael and I have talked about this but why do you think women over 34 now are going out more than they did 10 15 years ago what do you think the well uh, obviously uh, I'm not over 34 nor am I 34 however um, I'm and you don't go out anymore I'm either. approaching <laughs> it no 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 I do uh, No, as a matter of fact I do go out but in answer to your question Tom I think what has happened is that with the current uh, situation in society and women are now being so independent and feeling more in charge I think women are now ready to come out into clubs like yours and like like Mike's and say I'm available you know it's no longer let me wait for him to buy a drink you know let me send him a drink he's a great looking guy he looks like a guy that, that may have a, a Jaguar or something out, or a, a Ferrari in, in Michael's <laughs> case outside and I think that women are, are, are sort of commanding the foreground of Troy Troy if you will and I think that's okay I think it's healthy and they don't have to have babysitters anymore. Uh, the teenagers are on their own, basically. Yeah, but Pretty see, much. See, Tommy's, uh, uh, your club is different. Michael's now is, and he's he's the, a legend in the world. He caters to a younger crowd. But you've had some significant marriages oh, yeah. out of I, champions. Yeah, and I don't. Pat even, Sajak. Oh yeah, Pat Sajak met Lin Leslie Brown at uh, the Champions in Irvine. Uh, but I don't I don't track that because I'm not really uh, I'm selling a little different product. Right. Uh, than Tommy is, uh, and I find that the people that come to Champions, especially the women, they're coming packs like, and they, they, they gr groups of women together. Uh, you very solemn pack see it. night, Packs. like three or four women at one three time. Three or four. Three uh, seems to be the operative number. Yeah. and isn't that women? That's a totally different thing yeah. to find at the yacht club. They and, come mm -hmm. in and, twos. And unlike the the '60s and '70s, very seldom do I see, any, see anybody leave a woman leave it with a man at, from the bar anymore. Is I mean, that true? Very seldom. Mostly it's people connecting and exchanging phone numbers for later opportunities. Or if it's if it's a post-college crowd, maybe they'll, the group of girls will go with a group of guys back and have a party somewhere or go for dinner. Or Is that a, true in all the champions or just your champions in Georgetown? I think, that's, uh, I think that's a lot to do with our society and the AIDS issue that people are a little more uh, conscious of uh, who they spend their time with. And they like to, you know, the, think about it a little more. And, and I think that, that women are demanding a little more respect from men and that they want to be called and asked out. Right? You know, I have, well, to, I have to add something. I remember question. what I wanted to say. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I remember what I wanted to say. We had a guest on this program, a very attractive lady uh, and a woman, too, who said, <laughs> fried out, that Washington has no romance. Nobody sends flowers. People in Washington are not interested in sex. They're interested in power. And power in this town is politics. And she was took great exception to the other guests on the show when we talked mm -hmm. about Washington as having a scintillating nightlife. She said she didn't believe it. You disagree with that? I absolutely disagree with that. Having been in this city uh, for more than, than seven years, having met Michael um, being named one of the bachelorettes of this city and probably annoying a lot of women out there because many of them <laughs> thought I had enough boyfriends as it was, which they were probably right. Of course, I married the best guy. But at the same time, I think Washington's life is scintillating. I think what we have is not only, say, Tom's Club and a Champions, but we have uh, the private clubs, which I've seen a lot of uh, younger women well, in. You, you, you're Desiree. Desiree, right. Club. And, and uh, I, the I think Club. the River Club is, 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 is fabulous. There are some other new places, which I won't mention. I understand there's a place going in where Philomena's is, and you're going to open in Arlington. Uh, is the we haven't, we did, we're going to be announcing, I think, right as this show goes on the air, where we're opening. But also today now, um, you have in uh, Virginia, you have the new Reston Town Center, right. which is uh, going to be fabulous, take off, and has already taken off. Um, I've got an announcement I heard, uh, and I can't say, I told him I wouldn't say, there's going to be a big dance club opening uh, downtown. Uh, 10,000 square feet. Sort in of, our town? In downtown? In downtown Washington, yeah. Mm -hmm. The Spy Club has done well in its early stages. That's it's downtown on 15th stages, yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. um, so I you do have more that, clubs. Michael, have you? You know yeah, I, I went. Um, uh, but I, I, even though I'm in the business, I, compared to cities like L.A. and, and, and New York, 
Uh, I think that this is probably the best town in the country for singles. I, I mean, uh, uh, the don't, uh, unquestionably a great town for singles. Yeah. I was, well, I, I think uh, what, what I'm trying to say is that, that we are certainly the, the public relations professionals and having been a single woman and moving from New York to Washington, everyone was like, well, what's You're in Washington? You're somewhat of a celebrity, too, Kim. Let's well, face it. that's right. I like it. You've been seen. And I have my own TV show now as well, so I can keep tabs on you. Okay. But <laughs> <laughs> I think what has happened in Washington is there is there's a new resurgent of optimism, not only about our city because of our new mayor, but also that. about the single scene and what our city has to offer. We're no longer just a city of monuments. We're a neighborhood city. We have places where people can go. And I think it's exciting for, yeah. for young women and men in this city to, to, to feel part of that. It's a I, great point she's yeah. making. Great I segregate point, the single scene which is our topic tonight, from the nightclub scene, which was our last topic. Right. In the two separate, I think the single scene is great here. I think the nightclub scene has at least a lot to be desired. And I think that, that, that because well, of our... It's practically non-existent it's now. It's practically non -existent. Tom went out of business. I don't well, know of a not nightclub necessarily. in the city. <laughs> but I mean... <laughs> there's a comedy club, Michael, and there's a lot of bars, but I don't know if a... Bill Anton tried something very unique. And it didn't work. Well, but well, I mean, well, it worked. Into going well, out wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me let me yeah. say something okay, about. Go ahead. And I'm going to say something because Bill Anton is is also a good a good friend of mine. He's a very dear friend of mine. He's a good friend of yours as well. I think it was it was it was it was a travesty that that particular club was allowed to go down. I think that what has happened in this city, maybe that is something about the single scene. We're getting more younger people in. Well, and I think if a Bill Anton had have had a more supportive crowd he did have a great crowd i think you know if we had thrown in new kids on the block or some george howard or some attractive act we would have seen a 1201 club but he survive, didn't want to go with that, didn't didn't go no, with that. See, so, in the, in the well, we won't in the, discuss his business in the 70s right, and right. 80s like tommy had a club that was hot called zanzibar i had tramps and these were beautiful people places where celebrities and movie stars congregated when they, when came, they to came to town you go in, and i was just in la on on, on uh, monday night it's the well, on that particular week the sunday night was vertigo monday night was the china club mm -hmm. tuesday night was roxbury and every place there was I mean, what about that place? King of Sweden uh, was in there. Stringfellows. Stringfellows was Wednesday night. Okay. Oh, no, and I've the been King to all of Sweden the was there. Talking, and Jim Brown and about. all the stars. And, and, and I got a reason for that. But they all I don't want to stop. And we got to take a break. We'll be